18, 1944. I got it mistaking, it wasn't 1947. 1944, um, just refresh my mind. This is a Elger 1944 bowl, and this is the tank that comes with it. It's a little similar in design with the one that's 1954, but um, the 1954 one, of course, is wider, while well, this one is taller. And it has this kind of interesting design here, though they still have to confiscate for the fill valve, so they then put the leveled it out back for the fill valve to go there. And that's um, some of the key differences. The older one is um, shorter in width, while the other, while it's actually taller in height. Why well, about one inch taller in height? And, um, do they both, no, do they have these holding things here? Uh, this one had something too, right there. There was one right there. Um, the bowl looks exactly the same underneath. Everything looks exactly the same, but there is actually a difference. As I was saying in the earlier video, oops, I still have my flashlight on. One of the differences with the smaller hole. Oh yeah, uh, they said before this, the water going to the siphon jet hole is actually bigger on this model compared to the newer ones. As for the tank, I went through hell to solder off the bolts, and the bolts were so extremely rusty they still fused to the tank, even though I I soldered off the tank bolts. I can't even get them out of the tank, the bolts. I'm gonna have to get somebody who has a drill and drill right through them because this is insane. Taking off this, the tank off the bowl was a nightmare. I guess rust all the way back from the early 1940s, I guess. And um, I was trying to clean it up as best as I could. This is as far as I've gotten. This thing was drowning in a lot of rust. Um, looks like the lever is original. Has a cool style gothic kind of look to it. Um, tank says 1944 as well. It's hard to make out the writing, but I could tell there's two fours at the end. I'm not sure if that's August something, August 16 or something. I'm not sure. I can't make it out properly in the tank. But this is how it looks. And because I can't get the stupid bolts off, because they're fused to the tank, I'm gonna have to use the 1954 tank instead. Which kind of sucks. As for the tank lid, um, it's in great shape, like everything else that's not dirty. Um, the tank lid says June 2X, 1944. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, 2X. So something with, with the 1944 Elger bowl. It doesn't have anything on the symbol of it, it doesn't say Elger, like the 1955 one which has the Elger carved in it like there. So, and um, this bowl, the older one, compared to the other one that's 10 years, oh, 11 years younger, um, the older bowl is a lot heavier, so it's more, there's more weight on it. So, the older bowl is thicker. And this is how it looks. It's a shame I can't flush it, though. with this tank on it because the bolts won't come out because of all the rust. If you have any ideas how I can remove it, that would be very helpful. The thing's shiny. The ammo doesn't look shiny though. This should have a more powerful siphon jet hole though. It is a little bit more engraved. There's more rooms and more of a curvy edge around the walls of the opening. Now I'm just going to hook up the 1954 tank and give this bowl a flush, this 1944 bowl a flush. Um, time for the flush. With the newer tank, unfortunately. So I'm using this 1954 tank with this 1944 tank, 10 years apart, isn't that interesting? And I changed it to a uh, corky. A lovely, nice, silent corky that won't be splashing all over the place. So, um... Now I'm going to get ready to fill up the tank. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. 
beautiful. It's filling up nice and peacefully. Oopsie. That wasn't closed. So much for filling it up with an empty bowl first. It should reach the water line if I adjusted it properly. And I'll just wait for the tank to fill up. Well, as it's filling up, it's interesting how on the tank though there's this one little weird spot like that. This little it looks like it's an indent. It doesn't look exactly like a chip. I love the way how these siphon chips are. Look at that. And these older Eldro bowls. Oh, it's dirty. Okay, almost there. There we go. Filled up perfectly around the water line. Awesome. Now I'm gonna put the the tank lid on. Both the Elger tank lids on the roof gloss on both sides. So it's like it's hard to figure out which which way which direction it goes on. <laughs> um anyways. First flush on 1944 Elger Bowl. Wow! This had actually a swish flush, like those ones that use the high tanks. Wow, this is quite interesting. Remember the difference I told you about how there's more water going into the siphon jet hole? And it didn't do a big tornado flush like the newer ones from the 1950s and up, I guess. Isn't this interesting? Wow, so there is a big difference in the way how the toilet flushes, the 1940s version. Very, very interesting. I'm going to do a proper flush with um, the proper water line in the bowl this time now. I'm going to wait for the tank to fill up. Okay, the tank is filled up. So I'm going to give this its second flush. Not with paper yet, but with um... With um, just a regular flush. Here we go. There's no, the enamel's not shining the bowl though, it's just playing. Interesting. Very interesting. Um. Yeah, the flush is definitely different. I wonder what you guys are going to say in the comments. Nice quiet fill up from the crookie. So now for this um, next one. I was using some paper to clean up this toilet. So I'm going to throw that dirty, muddy paper in. And a you know, piece of paper towel. Give it another flush. It's interesting because this one flushes before the the thing closes. It, well, the you know the Royal Dilton, yeah, not the Royal Dilton, sorry, the Douglas style flush valve thing, the ball tank ball f drops. And um, as for the stuff coming out, um, it came out. This thing has a, I think this one has a more powerful flush than the one, the 1955 bowl. Wow. More pressure to the siphon jet does make a difference. I know it doesn't wash out the bowl as much. Maybe that's why they, um, change it around where it has more of a, a higher tornado flush with the newer ones versus this one that has a more low flow, well, waterline low flow flush. But does flush faster. Um, I'm gonna try the rag test, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna try the rag test. So, 
I'm gonna flush it and uh, Okay, that went down. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Now let's just see if it made it to the bottom. Yep, sure did. It can flush a rag. I'm sorry I didn't test that on the other one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, guys. I like this bowl. I like this 1944 Elger bowl. It's really cool. It's the same exterior as the 1955 one. Okay, this is just gonna be a last goodbye flush. 1944 Elger toilet bowl. I'm gonna shut this off. Yeah, goodbye flush. Well, there you have it, a 1944 Elger toilet bowl, glad I could show you this, I can tell you one thing, this toilet was the, the one of the biggest nightmare toilets, as far as the Mansfield is concerned, this is in the top two most hardest toilets for me to attain, and it was a nightmare getting it, um, but I'm glad I got my hands on it, and it's in proper condition. I'm gonna throw that toilet seat. Anyways, um, Seco 2000, adding out. Oh, <clears throat> another horrible snowstorm since the last snowstorm with the Mansfield. Well, this time it's with the Elger Wacko that's next to me. And coming back from the United States again, I'm going through a snowstorm. This is crazy. Cranuity bowl, not the one I wanted. I mean, the version I expected. Getting the toilet here was extremely hard and difficult. That's it for now. I'm gonna have to find a way to stick a blade in between the tank and the bolt to cut off the old screws and stuff. Now. And then this was a crane nudity I picked up. It wasn't the one that I expected because the exterior is the same as another internal type of design bowl. Hold on. Well, I took it anyways. Let's take a look. Not what I expected. Once again, I'm cursed with this model type. 